we caught on public education, we caught on uh, government programs, we caught on all the things that you should invest during a moment of crisis, right? We're going through close to 15, uh, 16 years of an economic crisis in which different administrations have implemented austerity policies in which working families in Puerto Rico, uh, university students in Puerto Rico have been asked to carry a heavier part of the burden while receiving less and less essential services, while at the same time, that same government that's asking you to sacrifice more because we're in a crisis and we need you to sacrifice is telling these individuals, come, come to Puerto Rico, vacation in Puerto Rico, and in exchange for that, you don't pay taxes. And, and that's obviously, uh, hypocrisy that the people of Puerto Rico are no longer uh, willing to tolerate. A recent attempt to stimulate the economy came in the form of two tax incentive programs now consolidated under the code of incentives known as Act 60. Companies and wealthy residents who relocate to Puerto Rico do pay some taxes, but they also get generous tax breaks to help drive development. What has been the impact of that? It has meant that many families have been displaced from the communities that they have lived for for a very long time it has turned our economy into a service economy in which puerto ricans can work at a restaurant can work at a hotel can work in the services industry but they will never be able to visit those hotels that they were working for or eat at those restaurants that they're working for i think it, it creates a situation in which puerto ricans we become guests in our own island, and that's obviously not acceptable.